Yeah, he made a call about three minutes ago saying he's having issues and then made no further call. Uh, you just flew right over him, uh, make a hard right. He's in the vegetation, not in the river. Turkey 180, Lima Romeo, um, straight in for runway 8, we're having a few issues, we're going to be straight in, thanks so much. Happy Green Media Com, two dumps here. Happy Green Media Com, go ahead. Yeah, it looks like you might have an emergency aircraft on runway 8, looks like they may be in the river, it looks like they came up short of 8. Copy, um, I just saw the aircraft coming in, but I looked away, so I'll go check it. Yeah, I was just watching. It looks like you did come up short. We're flying over now to confirm that. Copy that. We're heading out there now. Yeah, he made a call about three minutes ago saying he's having issues and then made no further call. Hey, Green, we're going to come. Two deaths here. Yes, sir. Two deaths here. We're circling. It looks like we may have located the aircraft just west of the Tar River. It looks like you may be in the trees. We're trying to confirm what we're seeing. Yeah, Tim, looks like we have a positive sighting on the aircraft about a quarter mile short. It's going to be about 200 yards west of the river itself. I'm going to do a low flyby. That is correct, sir. I'm getting ready to circle the aircraft now. It's on the approach end of runway 8, about 150 yards west of the actual Tar River. Yes, sir, we're circling it now. They're in the vegetation. It is, so we have confirmed the sighting. It's a low wing piper, it appears. And it looks like it's about 100 yards west of the river in the swampy area here, right on the uh, approach end of runway 8. We're looking for uh, any uh, movement on the ground. Big Rainbow traffic, our fire rescue vehicle plus one is crossing runway 2020. Big Rainbow. Uh, Tim, it's possible that right in the middle of the low line area is very swampy. That's correct. It looks like uh, they are uh, partially submerged. We're seeing no, no movement at this time. We're going to do another low flyby to see if we can get a little closer to them. Big Rainbow traffic. Emergency vehicles are clear runway 2 and 2 0. Big Rainbow. 3 0 2 Delta Sierra, what did you say you saw from up there? Say again for 2 Delta Sierra. Yeah, this is the uh, fire rescue vehicle. What did you say you saw from up there? Yeah, we have a down aircraft by a large tree partially submerged. We're looking for any movement of uh, people, and uh, we're not able to see any movement at this time. The aircraft uh, appears to be facing the nose to the south. Copy that. We are unable to reach it because it's uh, beyond the fence line. Yeah, as I said, it's about a half a mile to the runway here. It's going to be south of the river. Hey, uh, Pitt Greenville traffic, this is a medevac helicopter, East Care 2. I'm approximately one one mile to north, about six minutes out inbound to the hospital. I've been tracking your conversation, and I may come in and make an uh, orbit there, if that'll assist. Captain, sir, Diamond Star, two deaths here. We'll uh, vacate the area once you get into the area, sir, to give way to you. We just can't get low enough. Yeah, I can fix that. Um, understand you are on the approach end of 08, um, vicinity of the river. How uh, it? That's correct, sir. About 100 yards west of the river, the down aircraft looks like a low wing piper. They did make a distress call about uh, two minutes prior impact. Okay, copy that and uh, roger that. And break, break. Uh, Pick County ground vehicle EMS, so you guys up free. Take green and com, two deaths here. So I am tracking an ADSB target, a November 180 Lima Romeo. 180 Lima Romeo, I believe that's the down aircraft. 180 Lima Romeo. And Medivac uh, 9 Alpha Charlie is also circling the area at 2,000 feet. And two Delta Sierra sees uh, no movement, just flew directly over the aircraft. And the advice, two Delta Sierra does see movement. The right hand door appears open, and we believe we may have seen at least one individual. Take Greenville traffic, Medivac helicopter, East Care 2, I'm now 7 miles out of the uh, 600 and below, and I may need to talk on. Take Green traffic, Dumpster, two jets here, they're making one more low pass on the approach end of runway 8, 
500 feet to the layup to Greenville. Okay, I got you in sight, sir, and then uh, as I come in down those four quests, all other aircraft will be 800 above, I'll be 700 and below. This is East Care 2. Okay, two deaths here to confirm. We have one individual waving outside of the aircraft. East Care 302 Delta here. I'm uh, East Care 2, go ahead, sir. So East Care 2, we just uh, confirmed we have one individual waving on the right hand side of the aircraft. Uh, we may low pass the air wave and we've acknowledged their wave and we're climbing to 800 feet to give away to you, sir. Yes, sir, and uh, appreciate that. And uh, I'm again, I'm about uh, three minutes in down now and uh, if I need to talk on the last floor. Okay, we're going to remain uh, or pink overhead to your on site. Thank you. And 9 Alpha Charlie is also at the area 2000, circling. Stand by, sir. East Care 2 is on that. Yeah, it looks uh, very desolate area. I'm not sure how you guys will get into it other than accessing via the river, possibly. There is a tree line, uh, but it's uh, submerged with water from the uh, west. The far side, the west side, they are on the west side of the river, not on the airport property side. All air traffic is here to now uh, two minutes inbound. And can you guys give me a uh, talk on some of the extended center line of, uh, let's see, zero, I guess it's eight off zero eight, that's the approach end? Correct, sir. The approach end zero eight, about a quarter mile final. And it is, uh, if you look at the river on the approach end of runway eight, it's going to be about a hundred yards prior to the main Tar River on the approach end. The aircraft is facing underneath a large tree in the water, tail, or a correction of the nose is facing north. Copy that, sir. I have you both inside. These gears are still about a mile to your west. Sir, we have the inside as well, sir. It's about halfway from where the trees are cut on the clear way. It's about halfway between the river and the uh, low-lying trees. Roger that. Yeah, it, it's in the middle of the worst possible place. Again, you guys might have to probably get a water access. And he's here. You're just about directly over the site now, sir. Welcome. The aircraft is uh, kind of tucked up under a large tree. And uh, again, right about in line with the center line of the runway 8. Roger that. I'm going to make a right turn. Get it back in now. Copy that, sir. We're going to hover at 1,000 feet. We have the inside. So as you approach the area, East Care 2, there's uh, a group of uh, larger or taller trees and the aircraft is uh, kind of on the north side uh, embedded underneath those uh, large trees sir. Come to your uh, left, you need to go west. And you should be able to see the aircraft now, it's just to the south of the approach end of Redwood 2. Keep coming uh, to your south, due south. Aircraft should be about your 11, 10 o'clock sir. Welcome. Is it in the river or in the over flying now? Uh, you just flew right over him. Uh, make a hard right. He's in the vegetation, not in the river. From the north, you can see the aircraft the best. Uh, we're looking up now. It's kind of a perch from the north is the best way to see. He's tucked under a, a very large bush. Copy. East Gear 2 has it. Has them in sight. Copy, two deaths here is breaking off the orbit and will be left downwind landing full stop 26 to Greenville.